Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Dr. Nur Hidayah binti Abu Bakar. We are from group 12 and we would like to present the article titled The Development of Wa'at Based Product in Islamic Bank of Bangladesh, a case study. Without further ado, I will start with the issues discussed. There are two issues in the article and the first one is there is still lack of information on the application of Wa'at in Islamic Banks of Bangladesh. A large number of product innovations in Islamic banking have been achieved globally through the usage of Wa'at. It has notable market share in Islamic banking where only the full-fledged Islamic banks comprise 16.85% of the total banking asset. So, that is why there is possibility that Wa'at plays a very important role to develop new products in Islamic banking in Bangladesh. Wa'at is practiced here as a risk management instrument where the customer promises to purchase a commodity from the bank. In addition, Wa'at is an alternative for forward contracts. As an example, in the case of Salam, the commodity type, quantity and date of delivery, and etc. must be specified. But if Wa'at is used in use of Salam, then it is quite flexible as there is no restriction of commodity delivery or pricing from the Sharia perspective. Next, the objectives of the article is to analyze the Wa'at based products in the Islamic banks in Bangladesh. And the second one is to find out the Sharia issues as well as other challenges in the Wa'at based products. Now I will pass to the next presenter, Shafiq. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now I will explain about important content in this article. For the first one is Baik Murabaha on Purchase Ordering. Here I will explain about operational step in this contract. For the first one is uh, the customer or the client will go to the bank and apply to apply Murabaha contract. The customer will promise to the bank to purchase the goods after the bank purchase it. For number two, the bank will buy the the bank will purchase the goods from the seller. Number three, the purchase and sale agreement is done between the customer and the bank. Number four, the goods will deliver to the customer. Number five, the customer will pay the sale price to the bank by installment. If we look to the operational step, there is no, uh, there is an illiteral promise or one act, which is from customer to bank. And there is no application of muwakda, which is mutual promise, and wakden, which is two independent promise. Next, for the second one is by muajjal, which is sale on credit. In Bangladesh, the application of Baik Mu'ajjal is quite, quite similar with, with Baik Murabaha. However, there are a few differences between Murabaha contract and Baik Mu'ajjal. For, for the first one is the key characteristic. Baik Murabaha is sale on profit, but Baik Mu'ajjal is sale on credit. For the second one, the profit might buy Murabaha. The profit is fixed and certain, but for buy Muajjal, the profit can uh, it buy Muajjal can occur with profit or without profit. For the last one, buy Murabaha required to disclose the the price of the goods, but buy Muajjal is not compulsory to require to disclose the price of profit. It is because Baik Mu'ajjal is a bargain sale which is up to seller to mark up the profit that he wants. But Baik Mu'ajjal is a trust sale which is the seller must disclose the price and the profit that he is taking. Okay, I will pass to the next presenter. Now, we will move 
sales to the higher purchase on the Shikatu map or HPSM. Uh, HPSM is the combination of three contacts which is Shikat, Buy and Ijara. Shikat means partnership, Buy means sales and Ijara means lease. Uh, shikat or partnership, type of shikat used is shikatu mat. It means joint ownership. Or it also can be means two or more individuals jointly own a property and share profit and loss in proportion to their respective share in the property. Okay, we will see the figure from one, the bank and the customer jointly purchase a property. The second, the bank rents its share of the property to the customer for a fixed period. Third, the customer pays monthly renters and gradually purchases shares of the bank in the property. Fourth, at the end of the term, the bank transfers the title of the property to the customer. Okay, next, we move to the Islamic Financial Forward. Islamic Financial Forward CSBIB or Central Shamia Board for Islamic Banks of Bangladesh have an initiative to structure Islamic Financial Forward. However, the Shamia scholars of Bangladesh have different views for and against the status of Financial Forward in the Shamia. Some view that Financial Forward is not permissible in the Shamia. They argue that there is a dog of riba. In financial forward, it is required by the Sharia that currency should be exchanged on the spot basis based on the price on the spot. If a binding promise is employed to conclude a currency exchange contract, sold in the future based on today's exchange rate, then it is not allowed. Currency exchange should be based on the exchange rate at the time of concluding the contract. However, if the currencies are exchanged based on a predetermined rate, then it is it is prohibited. On the other hand, some scholars in Bangladesh view that financial forward should be allowed in the Sharia. They argue they argue that according to the Hanafi school of jurisprudence, it is allowed to make wa'ad as well as the mu'ada binding on the prime minister based on the need of the public. As financial forward is a need for Islamic banking in Bangladesh, then it is allowed to comply to employ a binding mutual promise, which is wa'ad muzim in financial forward. There is a clear difference between a contract and mu'ada. There is no transfer of ownership and ijab kabul in mu'ada. Therefore, no Sharia ruling related to a contract is attributed to Wa'ad. However, the debate on this issue is still going on and the scholar were not able to come up with a concrete decision on this matter. Therefore, Function Forward is still not issued by any Islamic bank in Bangladesh. That's all for me. I will pass to the next presenter. For additional information from another article that related to the topic is the benefits of wa'ad in Islamic finance institutions. Commonly, a binding unilateral promise has been applied in many Islamic banking products which are based on sale, lease and partnership contracts. For the benefits of wa'ad in Islamic finance institution, first, parties commitment. Second, as an alternative to put option and call option. Third, risk mitigation. Wa'ad to show parties' commitment to complete the transaction according to their ultimate intention. For example, in Murubaha say to purchase order, the customer will give his undertaking to purchase the asset which he requested the bank to purchase. To ensure the fulfillment of such promise, the bank usually asks for a security deposit. If the customer does not fulfill his promise, such as cancel the purchase, the deposit will turn as a remedy to any loss suffered by the bank. Next, what as an alternative to put option and call option. 
In Islamic financing documents, the Wa'at concept is applied in a supplementary document to the master agreement or is commonly known as purchase undertaking, an alternative to put option. There is also a sell undertaking or call option by the bank, although it is rarely used in Islamic banking transactions. For example, in al ijarathum al bay the customer undertake to purchase the asset at the end of the ijara term for an agreed nominal price. For the last is, Wa'at as a risk mitigation technique in the event of default or total loss. A binding promise becomes necessary to manage and mitigate a bank risk in the event of customer default or total loss of the asset. For example, a customer promised to allow the bank to restructure the facility in the event of a major default. Similarly, consecutive default in al ijara thumma al bay we enter repossession and then sell of asset in the public auction. In order to prevent a bank from facing losses, a customer's promise becomes necessary, such as he undertakes to pay any incidental cost of repossessions and pay the indebtedness if open deducting the proceeds from the auction. The customer remains indebted. Next, we move for the review. Uh, for the review, authors has achieved the objective of the study well. They clearly discuss the development of one based product in the Islamic banking of Bangladesh and they also analyze the product structure that involve one and attempt to find out the Sharia issue and other challenges. Uh, plus, the author also suggests potential mechanism to innovate more product based on one for the Islamic bank in Bangladesh. The finding of the research have been conducted with two methods, which is semi-structured interview with the banker and Sharia advisor in Bangladesh and have been strengthened with document analysis method. The author provides a systematic way to explain this case, which is at first, the paper provides the definition of Wa'at and its status in the Sharia, follow with an overview on the Islamic banking in Bangladesh. Uh, in addition, the paper compares the status of Wa'at with Bangladeshi Contract Act 19... No, 1872. Finally, it demonstrates the Wa'at based product in the Islamic banks of Bangladesh and discuss the challenges, Sharia issue, and prospect related to those products. Next, uh, we move to critique. For the critics, we think this case study will be more interesting if the author provide the comparison between development of Wa'at in Bangladesh with other country, for example Malaysia. From there we can see how Wa'at have been practiced in two different countries with two different acts. For conclusion, based on this case study, development of Islamic banking in Bangladesh is still in progress because there are only three consumer banking uh, products that use Wa'at which is Baik Murabaha on purchase order, Baik Mu'ajjal and higher purchase under Shil Khatul Mak. Uh, since the Wa'at based product are very limited in the Islamic banking of Bangladesh, it required a strong government support, human capital and research for the development of infrastructure and product. That's all from us. Thank you.